Hey yo, everybody, it's Johnny5 Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey yo. And Thunderbud. What up? And welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. We have another community creation spotlight to go into today, and it is another one of the top creations of the day, and it is an entire modern town. So stay tuned, and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying the video, leave a like. If you want to come build with us, come check out our Discord. Links are down in the description below. And let's delay no further. This creation here is uh, created by Rinkero, a modern town. So this is really interesting because if we go look at the map, we are not on the Isle of Awakening. So it seems no. like once you've completed the game, there must be an option to create mini islands. Cause like, I guess once you've covered the Isle of Awakening and you want to build more, you know, yeah. they need to give it's you something. Builder, Buildertopia? Yeah, Buildertopia. So mm. we're on Buildertopia. It's a mini map compared to the Isle of Awakening, but it should be perfect for, uh, you know, the, the last recording we did was insane. How, yeah. how, how do you uh, do this? This looks big as well. For a, for a small island. But yeah. see that screws up all your momentum. Or do I have to just hold it? Boing. You just go higher and higher. <laughs> like there we go. Oh, yeah. We're going to fly right on in there. <laughs> Here, let's uh, get a screenshot of this. <laughs> nice. I love the different color roofs. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this sure. was all created by one individual builder. I mean, they could have had friends uh, up to four. Yeah. But I think it's modern, though. I don't know. It's it's not fantasy, right? Well. Anything not fantasy, we just call modern. <laughs> Architectural. <laughs> Architectural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a four. Oh, okay, that's a two-story house. Where's the second story? Hidden stairwell. Hidden. Hidden. I told you it was yeah. hidden. <laughs> <laughs> secret. Always the uh, secrets. And hey, we got to make a lot of secret rooms. Let's see if we can get magnetic mover blocks and make some secret rooms. Yeah. Oh, what are they all doing? Hey, get out of my bread basket. <laughs> it's my bread. Is it corn on the car? Oh, look, they're starving. I feel terrible for doing that now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> she ate. I'm done. She's, she's, I'm done. she's I'm good. They, take. They're, they're so sad about that. Here you go. Put it back down. No. No. Maybe she does need bread. Okay. She's, yeah. Maybe she's gluten intolerant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. All right. So, I mean, these are uh, quite phenomenal buildings. Yeah. There. All row buildings connected together. I mean, we could technically just smash a hole in the wall and get into the next building, right? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what... Okay. <laughs> Whoops! Nice! <laughs> we fell into a toilet! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a big bathhouse. Oh, wait, was I supposed to get... Is that a hidden room? That might have actually been our first hidden room. Maybe. Let's go back up there and check. Where did I smash that hole in the wall? Was it in this house? Somewhere here. Oh, but wait, maybe? Huh. <laughs> <coughs> All right. See, there's no staircase. Oh, maybe it is. No, it's just no, oh, a ladder. There. Oh, no, there that you was, go. That was, I came in from the other yeah. way. Yeah, there's no okay. way up into this room. All right, we found now our first found hidden it. room. There we go. So he built that I whole mean, room not, for nothing. There's not much. No, there's yeah. not, but it's still an interior space that's not being utilized. Buildings are great. They really are. Look, with the, the what's it called? The, the glass, the stained glass? Yes, those guys. Should we go into all these buildings? They, they're very similar feeling. Yeah, uh, this... Maybe just walk uh, like along the, the boulevard, basically, sort of. Yeah, and we'll go in the ones that seem unique because they all do kind of feel very samey, don't they? Where does this go? Ooh. <laughs> all right. Chill it. Oh, don't have, don't have, don't, don't have the cocktail drink there. Yes, love that <laughs> with the glass there on the corner. Oh, the rounded glass. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. It's a, it's an inn. Ring the bell. Is it? <laughs> yeah. If we go upstairs, there should be just a bunch of bedrooms. I don't like the way people do their stairs. Yeah, it's big, clunky sometimes. Ooh, the luxury bedrooms. Should go up, see, see if there's a penthouse. No, no penthouse. Maybe secret room. No secret rooms. I want to go to this. I got an idea. No, I'm not gonna do it. 
I was gonna say I'm gonna punch a hole in the roof, but that's gonna take way too long. Yeah. You need secret rooftops, man. Okay. I don't... I've never seen these couches and right and beds. We've done three different massive episodes so oh, far, and so much. we keep discovering new things and new build pieces that we've never seen before. So we we pretty much checked out the front half of this place. It's Lulu, or no? That's uh, yeah. saffron. Uh, so. No. Maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, but she's blonde. Yeah, but uh, we noticed that people were changing their hair colors and stuff. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so this is the last building in that row. So let's go check out what's back here. A lighthouse? I, like, how long do you think it takes to construct one of these buildings? Like, that's a day-long project, right? I don't know. I think if you plan it out, it could be done pretty easily. You think? Nah, not easily, but... This bush lady, what is she doing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> she's just she's, she's off. She's high. Yeah. Oh, look at We've got a little boat. <laughs> like a tourist boat. Oh, that has the little goomba, gooey goom things on it. Yeah, what are they called? The little, they give you, they give you fur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are they, don't they give you um, oil? No, nah, well, they give you a couple of things, actually. Hey, Captain, where are we going? <laughs> he gives you oil. Oh, my God. This is oh, beautiful at nighttime with all the lighting and the windows. Yeah. Love the way the stained glass windows kind of glow. Very atmospheric. Oh, I'm nice with you. It's this little place. Toilets. The John. I'm intrigued by that clock in the background. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, that. It's See, nice. I, I like the, um, the ambience of the whole city, but like all the houses just kind of feel the same. And then, oh, this one's a little different. What, what, what is this? Steering wheels? What's going on in here? It looks like <laughs> a dresser. Oh, it's a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's like a little gym. Yeah, but the buildings on the outside look amazing, but in terms of like functionality and simsness, it doesn't seem as nice as the last ones we visited. You know? Mm. Something's a little yeah. off about it. Well, I think it's too, when you plan it out too much, it becomes too yeah. perfect yeah. and less organic yeah. and right. fun. But I think you could do like a city like in the middle somewhere and then the rest make it really uh, messy. Yeah. But, I don't know. I like the water wheel controlling the clock oh. tower. Because a lot of it we can go in, but it's kind of like, okay, well, looks the same as the last Different one. Different lights again as well. Oh, like this is modern. neat. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we we okay. haven't seen these pieces of views yet. You can do a lot of modern stuff with that. Wood and glass and white blocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Iron. So Thunder uh, just got the game. What are you thinking of the game so far? It's really fun. Uh, for me, it's addicting. Hells um, yeah. Lots of... Yeah, right? When you, like, the first hour, you're like, mm, okay. And then it suddenly just opens up. It's odd. Yeah, it's, it just, you know, for, for like, yeah, except about the first hour, you're kind of like, okay, I, I can do this. And then, it, then once the story kicks off, you're just like, oh my god, there's so much. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it all leads yeah. you to being able to build stuff like this one day. You know? Yeah. It all, it all just it teaches you how to do it. Yeah, but basically, if you think about it, it's one giant tutorial in a story. Yes, to, but you also get to know all the characters. The character development is top-notch. Yeah, because they're teaching you, like, oh, build a shower, build this, and build that, and you will never forget it. That's what, They did such a good job, you will never forget how to make this kind of stuff. You're right, yeah. yeah. And then it, yeah, they teach you how to make a, a dining room or a kitchen, but then <clears throat> you take that into your own creative hands and- <gasps> I've never seen this. I've never seen right. that. That's cool. Yeah, the little, uh, well. the kitchen set there. That's cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, see, yeah, we haven't seen these modern pieces either. No. So, but yeah, you take the, the ability to make a, a basic kitchen. Next thing you know, you're making a fancy restaurant and you're using all the different blocks and pieces to construct something that's, you know, very unique to your own build style. Upstairs, you got a pub. Look at the floor, like the fish crates. Right, there's a cacti floor. Floor. What I'm talking about. I gotta turn Thunder up just a little bit. Yeah. I got, yeah. I got Thunder at 200%. <laughs> <laughs> gotta turn yourself up. Okay. Up, uh love that song. Bam, 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 bam. Look at this, it's a like wagon. It's huge. Food cart. It's a little tall. I think you could have done without the wheels and it still would have looked fine. Just dragging it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Or put the wheels here. Yeah, there. Yeah. Ooh. Beachside uh, resort. A market. Market, yeah. Something. Yeah, this is crazy. Now, this is the interesting thing. Oh, I'm hearing myself again. Thunder, fix your, fix, fix your shit! We're not on the Isle of Awakening. Uh, I can't do it in, inside. 
yet he has NPCs everywhere. Yeah. So that gives me high That's hopes true. that if you want to start a new area, that you can kind of import and bring new NPCs into these areas. All these buildings yeah, are probably. more fascinating on the outside than they are on the inside, though. That's a lot of candles. Yeah. Holy crap. Why does that have whale in the middle? I would have thrown some sconces in there. Looks like a fish or something, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, Marine Marine monument. Monument. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your plate of food. That's so nice. I gotta turn Thunder down. <laughs> What's going on? All right, let's just carry this thing around everywhere. Ooh, see, this oh, is a little nice. nicer. We got a little dancing area. Oh. Yeah, I just unlocked those. Yeah, that's pretty cool to have. This this is one of the best pubs or areas that I've seen so far. I like the booth seats crammed around yeah. a table, and they're like you know all personalized, hidden off. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. Hidden on the second floor of a building, though. See, I want, I want, when I make my stuff, what the heck is this? I want everything to feel There's an great. elevator. <gasps> what? Does it work? Maybe, maybe the the ones, the arrows there on the wall? It has to. <gasps> <laughs> no, we gotta call the elevator. Okay, this is, this is incredible. No way. <laughs> Why is it not working now? Oh, uh, the other one. You have to like activate it or something? Wow. Nice. Can we keep going up? Let's take it to the. Yes. Let's see, I, there's like a, a reset button or something. Yeah, you have to like push the square button. That's fine. Yeah. Maybe he should have had the square button on the wall, that, you know, so I could. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. Hey, Lulu. This works. You can't sit in this thing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I like the library. Now, is there a, is this a secret room that only the elevator takes you to? Seems I mean, like it. There's no staircase. But like you miss it. There needs to be a That's switch great. that opens up the bookshelf. Yeah. Right. It has to be. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we, we didn't make like the Wayne Manor or whatever, or the. Uh... Oh yeah, Batman, the Batcave. Yeah, exactly. Hungry. Always hungry. Every episode. Then your Batmobile is that uh, insect car. <laughs> That's a perfect <laughs> idea. <laughs> wow. It's an incredible town, but it doesn't feel yeah. as useful as the other ones we've now, seen. All the buildings, like, they're overlapping and there's a lot of angles, and it's very nice. I it mean, is. It's very well constructed. Yeah, the inside may be a bit lacking. It's lacking a bit of life, like on the- Yeah. Um, but I think it's also because he, they might be limited to how many NPCs they can hear, get here. But we have Lulu, and we have all the, like- We do have characters. I think the buildings are so tall and there's so much space between them that there's probably, like, one NPC in every one of these buildings, you know? It's just they're lost somewhere yeah. in, in one of these, you know, crazy tall, big buildings. And so it just yeah. ends up feeling like there's not much going on at all. And, you know, like, all the amenities Ooh, like are yeah. in each one of these buildings. Like, I think what is missing is what we saw with that, what was it, episode two, where they had a residential area, then they had the commercial area, you know? Yeah. That's a really nice building. Whoa, that's nice. And it, I like those lanterns that he made out. It needs a shopping district. Lanterns. Yeah, on the le uh, left, there. Oh, Lantern. the yeah. street lights with the flags and stuff. Yeah, yeah I like that. That's real nice. Is this the first community creation that you've seen, Thunder? Uh, yeah, personally. You haven't gone and visited it on, on your own? No, because I haven't been wanting to play. <laughs> so, now now that you can see what's possible in this game and what the community can do, what do you think of this? It's incredible. I mean, the, the, uh, the idea, the imagination is unlimited, you, you could basically say. Um, yeah. Because... You just let your just let your imagination go wild. I mean, that's, that's I've, I've been doing it in my game and <clears throat> just improve just improving the town just to see what I could do. Yeah, um, definitely. And the one thing that like just kind of you know shits on Minecraft in in a sense is you just you're not building things for no reason. Uh, the, you build a restaurant, people will use the restaurant. You know, and I mean a, a simple car table and it works. You know, two seats, a table, and a card set, and yeah. all of a sudden people use it. And it's just like, that was so basic, and then there's... So you can make, like, a, a gaming recreational center. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can, there's so much... 
free so much and there's so many hearts. But if you want to make a very bustling decorative city like this, just for the sake of it, you can do that. Now, I think yeah. it, all this would be better on like the, well, I was going to say better on the Isle of Awakening, but then it's just, there's just, you need a larger population to make this kind of stuff. So that's also a reason yeah. I was saying that I hope, yeah. I hope they decide to expand on this game and just say, okay, we're going to like increase the population count to thousands imagine if this place had a thousand people in it it'd probably feel different wouldn't it yeah for sure i see you know what i was mm, you know, what i was thinking about i don't know if it's possible yet but you know how you ring the bell in the other towns i wonder if you can create your own bell for your town and then that way you could hit that bell and bring everybody close you know like you can actually see everybody that's that's in there yeah that's a good mm. question because if this sound had a bell we could ring it and actually find out how many people are actually here yeah because yeah. bring everybody would run to it because every you know, building i go into i do find somebody what's that no i was just thinking about the witcher 3 the city what is it called oh Anyone knows? I just thought that would be so cool to make. That'd be really hard. <laughs> I would, I would <laughs> not want to be commissioned yeah, to do yeah. that. No, but it would be cool. It would be. Uh, Rivia? Or no, that's... Uh, Novigrad? No, no. Uh, Maybe that's Novigrad. it, Novigrad, I think. Novigrad, Novigrad. Oh. yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I, I th I'm thinking more small scale, like some of the uh, little far, far, <laughs> farm towns outside of those cities. You know, those would be kind of great to make. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, I saw a building in The Witcher that I thought might be great at the top of a floating <laughs> island. Like, maybe like that one building. But yeah, you, you, dream you, big. we can go do Novograd, no problem. Let's get started. <laughs> dream big. Let's just make one giant um, blueprint. Hello. Yeah. But, I mean, we could still do the town in the middle, and then you, you could build it, the farm villages. You can. You could do all of it. Just speed build it. Oh, all it, of it? We'll put okay, it up on the yeah. channel. I'll, sure. I'll visit it for 20 minutes. And you spent three years nice. on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm looking oh, forward really to getting crap. back into my own game and finishing up the story, so I can just make some like quaint connected farms. And that's yeah. that's my first goal: sure. make a farm and a couple farmhouses. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm making a racetrack. I can't wait to make my first like actual blueprint oh, building yeah. like this. Oh yeah, we should race do a Mario go kart do. racetrack because we get those little beetle vehicles. That's what I was. That's what I was. My first, that was my first thing I was gonna do. So. That's a great idea. Set up, oh. set up all the way around the island, and then you could have like a, a mine cart going all the way around the outside, so you can sit in the mine cart and keep up to the people racing. <laughs> like you know, like you're like a track camera. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll sit in it, and you right. three can race, and I'll just record it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be freaking amazing. That'd be uh, so many good ideas. Uh, what I, uh, what ideas do you guys have? Leave your comments down below. Do you play Dragon Quest Builders? Is this getting you into it? And if so, come join us on Discord. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video here today. Really great job on this build, whoever the creator was. Let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, Rin, Rin Kauro. Very nice stuff. Although he's probably never going to watch this because I think it's a Japanese build. So <laughs> still, still got to pay, pay tributes to Rin Kuro. Very well done. All right. Thank you guys for joining me as Zogzor and Thunder. Yeah. Hey. Now let's get back to uh, playing some Dragon Quest builders of our own. Maybe yes, one day please. we can make something as great as this. Yeah. No regret. No regret. Okay. No problem. All right, everyone. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye now. Um,